Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the uh, wonderful blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. It's time for the Mad Scientist exploration site, a story mission with another battle. We have encountered an alien structure, no sign of problems outside. Those are always famous last words. I am thinking about if anyone needs extra uh, skills here. We wanted more speed for our front line. And even more speed for our front line, so that works well. I think we're pretty much okay. No one has a lot of points left over. Pauly could get mind sense. Um, why not? Why not? And could get melee weapons, but that's really not uh, needed at this point. We have a couple of... just mounts but I think they will not really work for us um, a bit more strength here is fine and we wanted to go also a bit more um, into speed so that'll be the next investment can't really put something on Look, overall, I think it's pretty damn, uh, pretty damn good team. Pretty good, landed, and we can already see enemies back here. Secure the area. Uh, there might be a Skrilla, maybe even more enemies. Well, tell you what. Time to find out what is behind that wall. And we have the perfect option to start scouting, which is spider drones. Should have shot the triplet, by the way. Yeah, for now it's fine. Okay, so who has War Scream? Shattered Realm does. And Shattered Realm moves to here. Just getting into position. I also want to give room for the opportunity of just getting a couple of uh, enemies. And keeping them. Drinks hands that over. Takes that. Good. Oiler moves up. I don't even want to be shot. Good, Euler continues. Just getting this guy down. I would say... Take a bit more actions, please. Good. 
That's number one down. Billy G moves over. And just overwatches. In case we need melee support, Ian is over here. Stills Frenzy, so that inappropriate Murphy can also move a bit faster. Murphy moves up. And we can't yet deploy a turret. I will do that next turn. For now, just to deploy a shield. Strengths is fine. And this will be here our fighting area. Throw turret over here. There you go. And afterwards we're going here. Good. I think we're okay. Ending the turn. So all we need to do is clear out the area. Uh, well, turret already takes damage. I don't want to lose that. Spotted quite a few enemies here. Let's make sure they are properly served. Mm. Few things really. Number one, I need to repair the turret. Polly moves up. Where's the second spider? Did we only shoot one. Oh, okay, well, that explains it. Reload and could hand over an action to anyone here. It will shoot back, right? No, it won't. Cool. Well, we could hide behind behind uh, that rock. Hmm. Not sure why he wasn't shooting back on the turret, but is shooting back on Pauli himself. But I guess we'll figure that out another time. Um, look, we could charge in. I don't think that it's the right call yet.
we want to make sure that these guys are all being caught if possible We need to get rid of <clears throat> that middle section. How do we do that? I do have an idea. So we could go around the corner, free aim and just destroy that section here. That's not a, ter a terrible idea because it gives them a lot of cover and many angles that I really do not want to give them. Well, hello there. back into cover good now what that means is we can get a few more of them nicely wrapped up I will over Paralyze them if that's even a term But make sure that they are so nicely wrapped up that Nothing will happen to them Are you telling me we don't have ammunition? Okay, well We do have ammunition on our good friend, so we could Continue very good Remote controlling. And we're continuing to remote control. They don't seem to react to normal fire, which is uh, from from the turrets, which is interesting. Ian the butcher owns. One, two, okay. We can do that. Three, four. Give an onslaught over. Ian jumps, finds this guy who's already quite injured, refills his pool and We are just going to clear those guys a little bit more. Yeah, there is an there's one of those stupid uh, spawners coming out. 
Ian says thank you, no thank you, and we'll move back. And Grell can unfortunately not use her stun next turn because she's going to be dazed. Well, Shadow Realm. Hmm. Can't really do much here. I think sitting over here might be a good idea, but still gives us a shout through the wall. Uh, that guy is is a goo thrower. Yeah, we'll figure something out next turn. For now, let's just end the turn. Not sure if uh, these guys can be f um, captured, but I know we needed to capture one with a yeah with acid or w with a um, with a corruption. This could be it. Mm. Gosh, I hate I hate them so much. <laughs> Let's test something. It can be paralyzed, so... We're going to do exactly that. Did you really miss two shots? You're kidding me, right? You are kidding me, my dude. Try that again. Finally paralyzed. So we got these three guys paralyzed. Haven't really dealt with anything else so far. can't revive the turret, right? Hmm. No. We had a repair here, but that only works when the turret is still standing. <clears throat> Annoying. Hitting ourselves. Positioning ourselves well. We know there is another artillery coming from here. Good 
good. So, spider drones. We are moving up. It are actually oh, okay. We can finally see this guy. Great. Let's boom blast, and I think we can soften up those two muppets. Okay, for now. This guy has no more weapons, so how he's going to attack. Do not mess with my turret. Wonderful. Goo is exactly what we have uh, needed. When you think about what was uh, missing in this mission, we'll easily find out it was Goo all along. We got our turret up and running. Okay, these guys will be out of commission for a long, long time. found the sniper. Isn't that a coincidence? Let's remote control and our new turret will do fantastic work by saying thank you to the sniper for trying to hit us. Laser turrets are super precise and they do a lot of damage. Hold on. Finally out of spiders, those three here somehow disappeared, so got to be careful not to place them too close. Somehow the bouncing off, off the wall didn't really work. Moving over next turn we're going to continue paralyzing them. Not sure if we can paralyze the big guy. Oh, 
I mean, we could try. Shredding armor. What's the unfortunate disadvantage of the laser uh, weapons? I could throw a couple of grenades next turn though. stuck in there. I don't like that. So instead, let's start moving out and a little bit further back here. Okay, who else uh, can act Euler? Free aim, please. get that last obstacle away. Cool. We actually were hitting him. Nice. And that's him. Turn. Quite a bit of damage. I don't like that. Well, if he is left unchecked, well, then that will be a major disaster. I hate artillery. <clears throat> there are a couple of things in this game that are really infuriating. The enemies are not designed to have a lot of weak points. It's, it, it's really just you need to deal a lot of damage. It's not just like in XCOM 2 where you have hard counters to everything. Some enemies, like this guy, are just a pain in the rear. Good. Can we hit him? That's a good question. We're going to find out in a second, I suppose. One, two, three. That's the wrong guy. That, that is the one that has no more weapons left. But we could still try to capture him, I suppose. Four. Five. 
Strength says, please take my energy. Standing in the way, uh, so equally, we've already started to get him down. No, 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 no! Don't you stop, Brad. Good. This guy's like really paralyzed now. Okay, dashing up. Did we hit him? No. Unfortunately not. Stand to expose here. Hmm. I think this will solve it. Dash clearance moves up. Hit. Hit. Oh, I see how it is. But believe me, you, my friend, will not reach us. It's still securing the area. Good, so boom blast. destroyed the entire front with the exception of its torso where all of the school is coming from well, if he moves up Pretty much done. Yeah, he can't move very far, but he also makes sure that we can't move very far. I know the goo at some point just disappears. Okay, needed to do a small break. We're back in action. And uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were destroying things left and right. Ian moves up. And butchers this guy like it's no man's business. Runs back. Wait. 
where is here we go okay cool so Euler has a few more shots left in his gun and he has now officially made sure that we have yet another paralyzed individual Grell continues to, yeah, I suppose, move. Oh, she's in goo. Anyways. Inappropriate Murphy. Moves up next turn. Need to reach out. even sure if there's going to be a next turn we're going to find out very soon shattered realm hits that thing and it bleeds for 60 does have 60 hit points should be dead so everybody else recovers Good, end of turn. Is that the end of the mission? Yes, it is. Nicely done. We're getting a bit more experience now, 50 per mission. It's not fantastic, but it's not only the experience, it's also the skill points that you're getting, 5 per mission. As it slowly adds up, but you need to do a lot of missions in order to get good soldiers. So I'm trying to get everything onto that prime team. That way they can they can really shine. The other level, for instance, the level uh, seven uh, um, uh, operatives in Born in the USA, they did have a problem. They just couldn't. Uh, buy enough skills. Anyways, whatever happened here, it seems like uh, Alejander uh, Danchev was harvesting biomaterial from Pandorians, a risky business which ultimately spilled his doom. The only things left from his body were fragments of bone and cloth. His ultimate creation survived him, another living weapon of great power. The Danchev MG. Weapon is heavy and very hungry. It restores uh, to full functionality. A few preliminary tests suggest that it seemed highly poisonous. Um, projectiles at a high rate. Okay. Damn it. We're missing the tech. Okay, so what is that weapon really doing? That's a good question. Heavy weapon sounds like something our heavy should carry. So where is this infamous living weapon? I think this is it. Poison firing machine gun. So is that a good one? Damage, th 350, that's fantastic. Has a horrible range, absolutely atrocious. But it deals a lot of damage. Action points three. Hmm. It's 350 damage and then another 50 poison just on top of it. So if we can get close with that weapon, it's basically game over. Which means I am thinking to put it onto Grell. Also doesn't seem to take any ammunition, which I always like because that means we don't need to pay for whatever happened afterwards. Cool. 
Love it. Okay, I think that was the last of uh, these special missions. Helios 5 and Helios 6 on the way. Uh, I tell you what. Let's do the ruins first. Yeah, we're not yet attacking. Instead, let's go to Phoenix Point. Thank you. Starting to explore here. Okay, cool. Can't excavate the site because we are lacking tech. Oh, that is infuriating. That at least lets us begin to excavate. Okay, we're ready for that next mission. <clears throat> Manticore 3. Yeah, it's joined at the hive, so it's good. Manticore 4. We'll switch personal. Uh, we want weak uh, spot, yes, please. So what I would suggest is, well, these guys are, they've never been on a mission yet. They need a break. Do we have anything to do is the question. Or are we just flying around trading? At the moment, it seems like we're just flying around trading a little bit. That does not require personnel on board. So we're actually better off putting everyone here into Bourne in the USA. <clears throat> and when they're needed, we're putting them back. This here is stupid. Can I get... We need... We need tech. Where's the closest trade for tech? Not down here because that will just not give us technology. I think he, uh, we're empty over here. Haven Info. This seems empty as well.
47 tech would be available here. And look, we could do the mission now, and then we're just getting the tech. Most of these others really do not have any tech at the moment. 60 up here, which isn't bad. And another 66 up there, which isn't bad either. Nothing here. Yeah, they are just starting to produce new stuff. Yeah, we used a lot of resources with the Prime team. But there is a positive, but also we also captured quite a few uh, of the aliens, so not a bad trade. Good, next up, let's do the hive, and then afterwards we're doing this mission. We got another hive over here. Yeah, it's fine. We just uh, traded with all of uh, the American, uh, the American colonies, so that's okay. Anything else that we need? Um, scorpion here, and then it's just research completion. Uh, we should have captured that goo person. And we need to get acid worms. Anyways, so this here looks good. Medical nanites looks good. Oh, we have so many researches going on. So Sinidron would be the last ones that we need to get to Allied, uh, but we, yeah, we would have a mission here, but I, I don't want to do that uh, mission on the expense of uh, our other allies. I'm actually quite happy with being Allied, and Sinidron will get up there as well. It will just take a little bit more time. Cool. You know what takes no time at all? Exactly, you got it. My typical request for you to uh, click the like button. Please do that and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.